hi guys you are welcome to my channel if you're a new subscriber you're welcome to my channel if you're an old subscriber welcome to once again to this uh, to another video that will edify you a little bit about um, communication within hairdressing so welcome to my channel my name is carol carol today we'll be focusing on communication because i think it's an important point to kind of look into to understand um what are the things that contribute to um, hair breeders, especially hair breeders working from home or nail technicians working from home or any home based uh, business or side hustles that involve uh, spending hours with people because if you're spending hours with people, many hours with people, then you need to be able to develop some level of you know interpersonal uh, communication skills. Just go with me on this okay it is not just about doing clients nails it is not just about doing clients hair it is not just about providing that that, that service to a client that will um, that will mean you spending hours with them and only you know and the outcome of it will only be the service that you provided there's a whole lot that go into you giving a client a good um, experience so it could be a good experience based on the craft that you're giving, but then even the communication behind uh, or within you know, your interpersonal uh, relationship. Because ultimately it is a relationship, but then when someone is spending hours with you, you want to be able to know what to discuss with them, how to discuss with them, and also ensure that whatever you discuss with them is very um, is beneficial for both of you. You don't want to spend hours with someone and focus on things that are trivial, things that do not really necessarily, you know, um, impact you or the clients positively. I have written down a few things. So guys, let's begin. So in order for us to move on or to progress, um, we need to understand the meaning of communication in the first place. Because if you do not understand the meaning of communication, then <laughs> We won't be able to really know what we put into that you know interpersonal relationship with the client so communication is just the process of sharing uh, information so it is the process of sharing information and in that comes ways or methods of how you communicate so um, I am going to focus more on uh, speaking with the client because if you're spending hours with the client then it's important to to understand these things so we've got the speaking we've got um, written communication but more so speaking because we'll be spending hours so we've already booked the client the clients turned up and you know we are now talking with the client you know the good morning how are you how is your day you know what do you do kind of uh, situation so those are the things that that's the, the, the aspect of communication that we are going to focus on so moving on like I said before, in this case, we are providing a service from home. So a service from home means having that, you know, safe space that we've created or having that, you know, just one-to-one -one kind of personal space that we've created for that client. Whereas if we were providing a service at the hairdresser's salon or at, at the stylist's uh, uh, place, then that won't be really um, a, a really safe space for a client to kind of sit and be comfortable to, to just be themselves. Because at the hairdresser's place, everyone can walk in, anyone can walk in at any time. So that could kind of disrupt the flow of communication that you have with the client. It's also really, really important to, to educate yourself, to read. So if you're someone who do not like to read, you can listen to, you know, audio books. If you're someone who likes to read, just kind of read every now and again, just to kind of, cause it gives you that ability to kind of know stuff. You do not have to read intensely. I'm not saying become a reader and read intensely, no. You do not have to read intensely, but even if it is just about listening to the news, just to kind of have a general basic idea on what is going on out there in the world because you need to be able to to kind of to kind of dive into topics that your client might bring up 
if you do not know something obviously you do not know but you are not going to sit there and constantly say i don't know i don't know i don't know that that will, that will not even be nice so it's important to understand what is going on generally in the world to also understand you know a few things to to read just to kind of improve your vocabulary and that's where where communication comes in so your ability to speak your ability to articulate your words clearly your ability to to analyze information with the client you know your ability to give your point of view uh, to the client without of course imposing so giving it in a way that is um, you know that a client will feel comfortable also giving their so just that interpersonal uh, communication just that active listening basically so your ability to listen to know stuff to come to, to contribute to stuff whether it's, it's stuff from the news whether it's stuff from real life situations just things like that so that's why it's really good to be able to, to know how to communicate i think in every single person uh, that is providing a service there's a vision behind it. every person has that reason why they want to do what they are doing everybody has that um, that thing that makes them dream you know that dream everyone has that dream that enable them to kind of boost them and give them that you know extra fuel for them for them to keep doing what they are doing so hair breeders for example your mission or not your mission sorry your vision may be things that you want to achieve in the future things that you want to maybe raise uh, uh, funds for so whether it's to do to invest in something so that everyone has a vision where well, i am guessing that for a lot of people who do business who are entrepreneurs who do who work from home or even someone else every single person has a vision and it's important to really know your vision so because knowing your vision will enable you to determine the type of person that you want to be seen as because you know where you are going you know that you're that person who wants who want to impact to have an impact on people's life and you know what kind of network you're trying to build and that also boils down to uh, that boosting you to know how to communicate with your client to pick topics of conversation that are constructive to you and also to your client and not to really dive into things that are not really necessary things that are not constructive at all so it's important to have a vision of where you want your business to lead you to what you are trying to achieve with your business whether it's you're trying to raise funds you're trying to grow your business and stay within that um, that type of uh, service you know so it's important to have that in mind when you are dealing with your client when you're communicating with them you have clients from different works of life you have clients who are for example nurses you have social workers you have carers you have cleaners you have doctors you have consultants, you have teachers, you have uh, other entrepreneurs, you have a program, 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 uh, what is it called? IT. You have clients who work in what else? Clients who, who work in mental health, yes, so nurses. When you have clients from different walks of life, that gives you an upper hand into really thinking and choosing what the kind of conversation that you want to get into. And it also boosts you to educate yourself because having clients from different walks of life is like having a network of diverse knowledge at your reach say for example if you were if your aspiration for example was to get into teaching eventually so you're doing hair breathing yes to raise funds to pay your bills and all that but if you wanted to get into teaching in the future and then you are working with clients who are teachers or who are into education your topic of conversation could also be around education for you to better understand their day-to-day -day, uh, work life for you to maybe understand aspect of your job that you feel might beneficial might be beneficial to you might enlighten you even more and might enable you to kind of really know the field that you want to get into so that's why i was saying initially that it's good to have a vision of where you want to be in the future why are you doing hair braiding now 
is it the field that you want to stay in is it what you want to do in the future is it that you want to grow the business even more is it that you're trying to raise funds for an investment is it that you know that's what you like to do is it passion is it a side hustle is it not a side hustle is it a main hustle so it all depends on so it's important to have a vision because based on that vision you'll be able to kind of uh, discipline yourself in a way that will be beneficial to you and even to your client so yes so you'll have clients from different walks of life and that will help you to kind of dive into topics of conversations that are meaningful constructive to yourself and constructive to your client beneficial to you and even in the future so that's like you building a network of uh, people who have skills diverse range of skills that may contribute to your to your growth as well so because just because you're providing a service doesn't mean you're limited to only providing that service this network of people will contribute if you if you use them wisely will contribute to your growth so pick your topic of communication of conversation carefully and communicate effectively within that communication with client there are a number of things or skills that or behaviors that are also important for you to practice so if these are things that you were not used to before you could you could practice them with your friends with you if you have children with your children and then apply them as well with clients and eventually become more comfortable and it will become part of your communication these are things like empathy for example if you're someone who was not empathetic before you know you could practice that with your children you could read a bit about it and practice with your children and eventually practice as practice with clients because you'll have situation or you may have situation like um, a client coming in you know for to do their hair to do their braids for a good five hours and sitting there and your know, topic of conversation may relate to a client um, telling you about things to do with their personal life that may not be really um, pleasant and at the same time you're not going to brush the client off for telling you things about their personal life you're going to empathize you're going to be that um, provide that active listening ear for your client to kind of use that safe space and just kind of pour out you know how they are feeling what they are thinking and try to put yourself in their shoe and that's you being empathetic so try to trying to put yourself in their shoe trying to you know uh, empathize with them but obviously without telling them what to do because you are not there to tell them what to do you might give them advice but not really impose on them so i hope that makes sense but yeah read a bit about empathy i think you that co that comes in hairdressing a lot that comes with in any service that you provide from home having that one-to-one -one space because it's a private space that you have that will help you a lot because you have clients who, who will bring up topics to do education for example you have teenagers who talk about how worried they are with school, how worried they are with GCSE, how worried they are with uh, A-levels, with not getting their grades. You know, just that general worry of teenagers or even how worried they are with life, you know. And you have those who are not teenagers anymore who maybe bring topic to the topics to do with, you know, uh, how worried they are with finding a good or a responsible partner. And you also have uh, clients who are already working and who will tell you about how worried they are with going back to work on a Monday and having to see their manager or someone who is not uh, treating them really well at work. So but when you have topics like that, that's when empathy will come in because you need to, you need to develop or practice a level of understanding, a level of care as well, a level of you know, saying to yourself, you know if this was me how will i feel and that's empathy you know and that will influence the way that you will respond you will respond to, to what they are talking about so yeah so that's it's important to, to do that and one other point is in the midst of all this 
in the midst of all these scenarios or different examples that I have given, always remember to keep your private life private because you are not, you are a hairdresser, you're providing a service, you are, it's a job, you're providing a service and you are not really there to talk about your own personal life. I mean, private as in whatever you discuss with your client, always feel comfortable that if you do hear about this out there, you won't be angry or upset with the client. So that's how you can think about it. If in your mind, whatever you are saying to the client can be told to anyone else and you won't feel unhappy, you won't feel upset or anything, then that's fine. But if there's anything that you want to keep private that you won't want anyone else to hear about, because it's your personal life, it's your private space, it's your children's personal life, then it's not a topic of conversation. Do not bring it up. So when you've practiced all this day in, day out with your client, that level of communication helps to build a good relationship within, between you and your client. So it contributes to build that bond between you and your client. Because then your client will feel like you are like a safe space for them to come in, do their hair, not being disturbed by anyone, and feel comfortable to just offload. If they need to, they do not have to, you are not pressurizing them, but then they will feel like comfortable to just offload. And it will also build that level of trust, which is very, very important between people. So it will build that level of trust between you and, and them and that will keep them coming back again and again and again and because they will already have that trust between you and them or they will already feel that there is that trust between both of you they will feel comfortable and happy referring their services to everyone else and that's how you begin to build a strong client list or client base so I hope this conversation makes sense <laughs> because I feel like I was a little bit all over the place but the message here is it's important to communicate with your client and to know how to communicate with your client and within communication to practice active listening to practice empathy to also read to kind of educate yourself and develop your vocabulary to also watch whether it's the news or you know soaps out there to just know what's going on in the UK or in the world and to also you know share life experiences that will also be beneficial to them so thank you guys for say for staying this long this was Carol if you are new to this channel please subscribe thank you for trusting uh, my channel and um, see you next time bye bye